Gelimera and welcome to Athens in Greece. I am so excited to be here. Back in school I did a lot of work on Greek mythology, so it is so wonderful to be here and see everything with my own eyes. In today's lesson video, we are going to be going and seeing lots of the historic sites and learning plenty of facts along the way about the buildings and the structures that are here. Then we're going to be getting a little bit dramatic and maybe even writing our own Greek plays. Are you ready? Athens is the capital of Greece and the heart of the country. When you walk around the city, you can see structures that have been here for over 2,400 years. And there's been evidence found of the ancient civilization from over 3,400 years ago. It is really not hard to think about what it would have been like back then. So let's have a look at the historical sites. The Acropolis. The Acropolis of Athens is an ancient fortified area on top of a big area of rock in the city of Athens. Inside the Acropolis are many important ancient buildings that can tell us a lot about the history of Greece. This area is called the Acropolis because it comes from a Greek word that means the highest point. There are other outcrops of rock that are similar to the Acropolis, but this one holds the most history. Some of the amazing ancient structures that can be found within the Acropolis are the Parthenon. This is a very old temple that was dedicated to the Greek goddess Athena. The building of this temple started 2,464 years ago. It is an extremely important building that means a large amount to the people of Greece and others around the world. The sculptures that were inside it show some of the best Greek art that can be found. These sculptures are now housed in the British Museum in London. The Temple of Athena Nike. The Temple of Athena Nike is a temple inside the Acropolis. In Greek, Nike means victory. So, Athena was the goddess of victory in war. They prayed and worshipped her to help them in the Peloponnesian War where they fought against the Spartans. It makes sense that they made a temple for her. The Propalia. This remarkable piece of architecture is a monumental gate that is an entrance way for the Acropolis. Other places around the world have taken inspiration from this gate when making archways for their own cities. If you have ever heard anything about Greek mythology, you've probably heard of the name Zeus. In fact, we talked a little bit about him in our Olympics lesson video. He is a pretty big deal. He was the god of the sky and thunder, the king of the gods that ruled from the top of Mount Olympus. Temple of Olympic Zeus. I visited the Temple of Olympic Zeus, which is a monument that was made and dedicated to Zeus. The original builders had high hopes of creating the most spectacular structure known to mankind, but it took over 600 years to be completed. It didn't stand for very long. After a century, which is 100 years, it was torn down in an invasion. Even though 100 years is a long time, it is not very long compared to the other structures that have lasted for thousands of years. Today, you can see 16 of the original pillars, which gives an idea of what it looked like. When I visit new places, I love to see the historic sites and interesting things. But I also really love to do as the locals do, and especially eat as the locals eat. And a perfect place to do this in Athens is called the Plaka District. Plaga. Plaga is known as the historic area in Athens. It is found near the Acropolis and has been built on top of the ancient town of Athens. The area that this was in ancient times is where everyone's homes would have been. Because this area is so close to the Acropolis, it can be called the neighborhood of the gods. To me, it will also be known as the neighborhood of delicious food because everything I ate was delightful. 
The idea of going somewhere, sitting down and watching people as entertainment has actually been around for a very long time. In ancient Greek times, going to see a play was a very important thing to do. Greek theatres have been made in abundance and you can find them in lots and lots of different countries. In fact, most of the theatres and stadiums that we have today have been based on the shape of the Greek theatres. It's so that everyone can see and everyone can hear what is happening. Theatre of Dionysus I went to see the Theatre of Dionysus. I was amazed to think of how many different performances had happened here and of all the people who had sat in these seats. I did find out some information that was a little bit icky. The seats that are in the front row were always reserved for the richest viewers. There was something special about the seats. There is a hole and that hole was used so that the rich people didn't have to get up to go to the bathroom, they could just stay in their seat. That may have been a normal situation back then, but I don't think that is very sanitary. Ew. Speaking of Greek theatres, I think it's time for you to do some drama. In Greek theatres, the performers would either be doing a comedy play or a tragedy play. A comedy would be something simple, a story about everyday life, and it would always have to make the audience laugh. Now, the tragedy would be a very serious story. Normally, the main character would be behaving badly and then something would happen to teach them how to be a better person. For your warm-up activity, you are going to be getting into groups of three. You will all be given the same lines. Firstly, I want you to read those lines as if it is a comedy. Then, I want you to switch it up and read the exact same lines as if it is a tragedy. Have fun with that and I'll see you soon. How'd you do? I hope it was very dramatic. Now this next activity might be a bit more advanced for some age groups, so you could do it together as a whole class. You are going to be writing a Greek play. My suggestion is to get into groups of five. Choose whether you want to be doing a comedy or a tragedy. The rules are that the play has to be between 30 seconds and a minute, no less and no more. Your whole group must work together, everyone must be included, and remember to show confidence when you are performing. You can use the guidelines that are in the resources for this activity to make sure you can write the best play possible. Have an excellent time. I am actually on my way to get onto a ferry that is going to take me to a Greek island and I'm going to be there for a few months. So you can stay tuned for lots of Greek inspired lesson videos. Sign up to the mail list and you can follow the touring teacher on Facebook and Instagram. All the links are in the description. Adieu and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching! Why not continue learning by clicking on one of these lesson videos? And make sure to click that subscribe button. Happy travels!